playing with it. Fire some little blacks. Knew that was gonna happen. Ah. Boys. See how much he is, y'all. See how much he is, boys. Let's go. Fourteen and a half, boys. We're gonna let this one back, man. We want to make sure we don't want to get caught with something and he end up shrinking one, <laughs> shrinking a few inches. We're gonna go ahead and throw him back, man. Get him a release. That's what the temperature still 84. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and release this one, boys. It's a nice catch, nice fish. I'm trying to catch some, man. At least 16. I know they gotta be 14 to keep, but we just wanna make sure, man. This one 14 and a half, I don't wanna get caught, you know. A piece of the tail come off or something, you know what I mean? He don't measure right. So we're gonna put him back in the water. Let's get it. Let's see if we can get another one, boys. Got a good bite on this last one. Let's see if we can do something. And we got hung on some some shells or something and probably broke the, I figured that broke the body off. We'll get another one. Oh shit. Got another one, y'all. See what we got. Little rat red. Let's go. Back. I don't see no tag. Let's go, boys. Oh, I'm about to drip my phone in the water. Just caught a red first one of the day. Small one, but hey, and he bleeding and shit. But 
I go down his throat with it? Chill out, bro. I think we did. Must have went down his throat. First read of the day, man. Let's get off the GoPro real quick. Ready of the day. Got it going. Let's get it. First read of the day, boys. Get him off the hook. I think I went down his <coughs> throat for it. That's why he started bleeding. But did he swallow it? I hope not. I can't tell. I think he did. Fuck. Sorry, I gotta do this, guys. Fuck. Ouch. That ain't feel good. Hold on, buddy. Swallow my hook and something else. Damn. Sorry, boys. Fuck. Well, we know they're here, man. They're coming back in. That's the first raid of the day. Let's uh, get back out there. Live shrimp. <clears throat> Fishing on the bottom. And hopefully we can catch some keepers, man. I had two that I probably should have killed. But... But the only reason I didn't keep them, my bad, was because uh, they were 14 and a half. The other one's 15, but didn't have really too many black lines visible. But we'll get back out there with it. Yep, that's well. Not a good look, boys. Not a good look. Get my shit hard. Come on now. Fuck. Oh, Like what?
Come on, baby. Get right, get right. Good black drum right here, but it's still too small. But it got all the black lines like we'd be looking for. You can see them clear. So this one nine times out of ten, most likely, you don't have to deal with. I'm pretty sure they still got them, but for the most part, you won't have to deal with the parasites on these. As far as the worms being in the belly. He got something coming out, actually some eggs, so we're gonna get this one back in the water. Um, yeah, man, they here. You just you gotta be patient, live shrimp. We're gonna see how it go, boys. See how the line's visible? It's a good one to eat, but you want bigger size. This one is under, so we're gonna put them back in the water. Oh shit. Man, mouth is tough. There we go. Little baby black. Let him back. Get to the next one, boys. It's a little black. Scrubbing the bottom, boys. Little baby black. A little under the, the size, but hey, as long as we catch it, man. We're in about nine feet of water, almost 10 feet. Look like it's showing 84 degrees, so it's a bit kind of on the warm side. I'll see it. Get him back in the water so he don't die. Let's get on to it. about five foot out. Let it run, see if we can get another one. Get off my line, boy. Let's try under the boat. 
kind of close to the wall real quick. Just try right here, just drop, drop it off the boat. Off the yak. I'm gonna go straight down with it real quick. Another trout. I don't even know what they gotta be to be honest with y'all. <clears throat> you big too, some bitch. I got two teeth too. Oh shit. I almost hooked myself. There you have it, boys. Spec. Not finna grab him by the lip. He got teeth. But. <clears throat> not sure how long they gotta be, but I'm pretty sure this one's probably small. I'll probably check in a minute, but. Y'all see it. A little speck out here. Get it, baby. Like my dude said. <laughs> Let's go, boys.
boys. Today was a great day fishing, man. Uh, we did catch a few black drums. Uh, we caught one red drum. Probably come out sometime next week. This week, we'll see how everything go. Maybe Sunday, as long as the weather good. Uh, but other than that, man, hope you guys did enjoy the little stuff that we was catching, even the trouts and all that. Um, and man, we finna head out. We didn't catch really no, we caught some keepers, but I threw them back, man. That was my fault for throwing them back. Um, man, it wasn't really, it wasn't really too, a lot of people around me was catching some good ones. I'm running out of shrimp, that's the only reason I'm leaving, but other than that, I probably wouldn't stay. We'll see how it go. Yeah, got the water, we got everything else. All the fish finder and everything off, everything uh, thrown up there. Now we got to get my last fishing pole which is my baby right here. One of my favorite ones. My favorite fishing pole right here, y'all. I wish I could buy two of them. Somebody comment, let me know where I can find another one of these at. Maybe I can get it off Amazon, I don't know. We will see. All right, now we got all the heavy stuff out of that, man. It's time to angle this thing up and drag it up the hill. So luckily the water came up because it wasn't this high. Whenever I left out this morning, that shit was way out there. And we got a guy catching way fishing, I think. It's real shallow right here, y'all. Let's uh, not slip and fall. Slide it back a little bit. Oh, let's angle it up here. Let's grab the anchor. Get this out of the way. That's how I do it, y'all. You gotta put some muscles with it, man, but hey, it can be done once you get everything out. Just only thing is, man, the bottom of my kayak might be scratched. So we drag it up this hill. Oh. Hopefully I ain't mess up my fish finder. And that's it, boys. We gotta uh, make sure we got this straight. We got that. Now we gotta uh Attach the wheels to it. Woo! That was a workout right there. We get the pedal. Get this. And somewhere on this jack, there is some straps. At least I thought I bought them. Maybe I put it in the dry storage. I don't remember. Extra shrimp that got away from me I was looking for. Is it in here? Nope. What the hell? What'd I do with those straps? I know I brought them down. Oh, I know where it's at. It's in the fishing bag. I think it's in here. Straps, that's it. All right, boys. So opinion on this new $40 cooler that I bought off of um, Amazon, man, it's supposed to be a kayak cooler. I just ain't got it hooked to my seat. We'll see. So we got, we started this morning. We got peanut butter. We got, I'm gonna make me a sandwich. Your boy is hungry. Ice still in there, man. Somewhat. Cold water still, it ain't just, you know. And plus it was a small bag. I probably could have put a large bag in there. It wasn't too much. All that pillin' got me thirsty. Oh man. Did that trouble hook out of there. I threw this off the boat and it came back on the boat somehow. All right. Let's get to strapping. I really need to find a way to strap it in the back, but I don't see a good position. Cause every time I pick it up, damn thing fall over so let's see if we can um maybe do it in the middle or something so we'll do it like this let's do it like that <sighs> yeah see in the middle it's like it's it be wanting to fall over and shit which is what i don't want to happen let's hold this up like hercules Grab this and put this 
under here and see if we can sit this on it. How's that sit? It don't even sit right. It never sit right. Hence the reason why I always put it up here at the front. Sheesh. Put it down like that. And grab the car. We headed down the hill <coughs> to the yak and all the other materials I left behind. But we're gonna see how it go. Let's put everything inside the yak. Uh, let's set the poles like this maybe. I should put everything in the back. And then bucket. Machete, jig heads, machete. Let's put them shark shell. Let's put all this up here and we'll bring this up together. Hopefully. It wore me out last time, but should have a little leg room now. Sit there. Yeah, we gotta do some cleaning on this baby once we make it to the crib. Good, a little more water. Ooh. Let's get the pulling, boys. Let's sit everything in here. Go ahead and keep these legs in the four by four. That's a steep hill to go up. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all see that? Let's see if we can do it. Oh, let's drag it. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Oop. Squats are very important, boys. Whew. God damn. Oh. You gotta be dedicated. Whew. No. No. Don't go back down. Whew. Damn. Woo. All right. Uh, damn. That was a workout. Woo. Now. Let's grab this bucket. All right, I'm tired, but I gotta do a promo for y'all. Y'all see, y'all don't have a truck. If you don't have a truck like me, I don't have a truck. They got these bars, the link will be in the description on where to get them from. They portable, they do not scuff up your car. I put them on this car. And I also put them on my Challenger. These bars will let you strap down a kayak to the top of your car without moving. It goes straight through the window or well, the actual door thing. And it's strapped on with a heavy duty strap. And you'll be able to be like me, man. 
You ain't gotta buy a truck, you can buy a kayak with a car. And they cheap too, probably like 60 bucks, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe even cheaper than that, I forgot how much I paid for them. But link will be in the description, y'all wanna check those out. Get these balls for your car, man. If, you, if you're trying to get a kayak and you don't wanna buy a truck, go ahead and get you one. Now let's get this thing put on top. All right, boys, let's go ahead and get this uh, kayak on top of the car and get this anchor off. I don't know why it's so tight. I didn't tie this tight. So get the anchor off. Gotta make sure we clean this off too because last time I had a little baby net mag maggots on my damn uh, machete. Hence the reason I should have uh, cleaned it a little more. But we got this. We're gonna have to get some of this bread, man. Just bought a whole loaf of bread and didn't even use it. Have to find some way to make us a peanut butter and jelly sandwich right here. Close that up. Shut this off. I think that's everything over here. Oh damn, I forgot to put the this should be good. This ain't going nowhere. Everything's locked. Take the water bottle off. And this cable will latch down right here. And this will latch down right there. Got the water bottle now all we do y'all is just turn this this way and you can do it one man as long as you got a little strength on you pull it so with my challenge i put a sheet on the car raise it up all the way drag it in set the bowel on the car like that get to the back of it and it should be a handle back here all you do is grab this handle lift it up and push like that and push it on to your desire wherever you feel like it's comfortable with mine's comfortable right there now we got to pop the trunk again Gotta put this in the trunk. Also put the wheels. Got the flag on there. Got this. Drag this a little close over here. And what I do is, whenever I strap down, I go from this back bar to the top front. So I, I do like an X across mine with these straps that come with these. And I'll link these in the description to the video. So grab one of these, get the main one. And that's all you do right here. So I grab this right here, latch it like that, put it through this arm piece, put it through here. Oh, that looks like fun. Oh, yeah. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. Did you catch anything? I caught a bunch of them, but it wasn't, uh, wasn't any keepers oh. yeah but i did have fun oh, good. Yeah. as good long as you're deal. having fun good deal. you have a good one too, so we're gonna go across y'all cross cross and we're gonna come under this uh pole right here come under this pole like that and then we go i think it's like that is it under this pole was it under this phone? I think so. And then we're gonna wrap it across. Is it biting today? Huh? Is it biting today? And they catching them out there. Yeah. It's just, when I came out this morning, it was shallow as shit. Was it? Yeah, but well, they, I ran out of shrimp. That's the only reason I left. Did you get any flounder? Uh, no flounder, just speckled trout, uh, reds, and then black drum. Nice. But it was 14, it wasn't really no keepers like talking right. about, yeah. They was catching some big bull reds and so all the good tired. stuff. Uh, nah, it wasn't right here. I was went to the spillway. I oh, kayaked okay. over there. So the other guy, he came and I was telling him he can wade over there. Yeah. But. All right, man. All right. Have you have a good one.
y'all before I end the day, man, I want to say shout out to Better Boats for sending me three of their products. Now they sent me a 15 inch hose, which is all placed online. Also, they sent me the microfiber cleaning cloths. And then this big bundle right here, they sent me the boat exterior cleaner. I told them that I didn't have a boat, but I do got a kayak. They said that's cool. So we're gonna get to cleaning up the kayak with this man. I wanna say shout out to those guys for uh, sending me the product, man, the review. Let y'all know exactly how it's gonna go. Uh, but let's get to it, man.